Welcome back. So you might be wondering why we're headed straight into the mangroves. So we're basically going in here to collect sheep's head bait. So you might be wondering what kind of sheep's head bait is hanging out in the mangroves. So if you didn't know, these mangroves are crawling with these tiny crabs called mangrove tree crabs. So they're great bait. They work for sheep's head, black drum, red drum, snook trout, pretty much anything will eat these things. So we're gonna go collect a bunch and go fishing for sheep's head. So you can see one right down there, close to the water. Sitting still, thinks we don't see him. Right down there. So that's what we're after right there, these little mangrove crabs. There he goes. So we're gonna collect as many as we can and then get to fishing. So basically what I like doing now is accessing them into these easily accessible areas. You know, they're everywhere in here. They're, it's just, you can't get to them in most of the spots. So areas with these low, all right, there's one right there running for his oh there's another one right there oh there's three of them whole bunch of them here all right let's try and go for this one right in the middle all right got that one let's go for this one lost that all right so now when they jump in the water it's not a big deal because all right there's one right there a lot of times they'll either swim for the roots or they'll swim for your vessel your kayak or your boat or whatever and they'll climb on the side of that so you might get a second chance at them yeah, there's one down there. All right, I'm gonna deposit this one in the bucket. Try and get that one. There you go, there he is. All right, it's tough when they're at the bottom, but try and get, get below them. And then the other hand, come along and, all right, almost got away from us, but. All right, another one right there. There's one right there, almost missed him. Right in front of them, they camouflage very well. Now you don't want to be too hard on them, you'll end up crushing them, so don't smash them into the mangroves or anything like that. It's okay if they lose a couple legs, it's not the end of the world, but just don't crush them. Alright, we're coming into another area right here, Let's see if there's any hanging down here. Yeah, I see one right there, right? He's, he sees us too. Alright, got another one. We got one really low to the water right there. So I'm gonna raise this up out of the water a little bit. Get below them. All right, so now we want them to either run up or run. It's just kind of sitting there. So we're gonna, we're gonna make the move. All right, another one. All right, I managed to collect about two dozen. So I threw a, little, a couple little twigs in there just so they have something to hang out on. All right, let's take a look at this rig. It's a yellowtail snapper jig by Mustad, 1 16th of an ounce. So as you can see, it's a size one hook using a 20 pound leader, mono leader, using a loop knot and an Albright knot. So it's a pretty basic setup. You find these hooks pretty much anywhere. And I like these basically because the crab's gonna get hooked through here. This is gonna lay on the bottom like that, and the crab's just gonna be able to kind of walk around naturally down there. So, big fan of these hooks right here. I was out here the other day scouting out potential sheep's head spots and ended up hooking into a pretty nice fish. So, before we get to our first fishing spot, I want you to check out this video real quick. That's a nice one. That's a really nice one. Alright, that was a really nice sheep's head. Pretty lucky to reel in something like that. Just scouting around, so hopefully we found a good spot and let's see what we can do today. Alright, let's see if we can catch one off this dock here.
there was definitely something pecking at him down there. There we go. That's a good one. He's going crazy, look at him. That's a nice fish right there. Yeah, they got robbed by the convict. All right, that's exactly what we're looking for right there. Right in the corner of the mouth. Got to be careful with these guys. They're full of spikes. Pretty dangerous fish. So uh, check those teeth out too. Hey, get a look at those teeth. Nice fish. Let's see if we can get another one. So this is a good area. We have a whole bunch of extra pilings on this dock. And they're also covered in all kind of barnacles and growth. We're looking for the older docks. You don't want a fresh, brand new dock, you know? It doesn't have enough food for these sheep's head to hang out on. So you need stuff like this growing on the dock in order for there to be sheep's head around. All right, so you're going to lose quite a bit of bait here, so you got to make sure you have enough. So. Now they'll either, either obviously hit it on the descent or pick it up off the bottom. So Got that 1 16th ounce jig, so it gives a nice slow fall, very natural. You don't want it too heavy for calm water because it's just going to plummet like a stone. It won't look natural at all. And then uh, it won't really be able to crawl around on the bottom with the heavy jig either. So just heavy enough for the current you're in. All right, we already got something messing with it. All right, make sure he's got it. Oh, just got robbed. I'm telling you, you're gonna burn through your bait, so I'll just come out here with a few. go. Let's get it. Uh, actually, took our bait. Try to pinch us. something do we nope not yet yeah there's definitely something down there oh burning through the bait Catch what's been stealing our bait. All right, we got something messing with it again. All right. What is this? That's oh, a redfish. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's get this guy unhooked, sent on his way. Two spot redfish. All right, I just retied, and I mentioned it before. I think I mentioned it anyway. I like to use a long leader out here when I'm doing this fishing. I use an Albright knot with a 20 pound mono leader. I've got a 15 pound braid line, so our our knot is very small here, so it's no problem passing through our guides. And I like the longer length because you see how these. You see how these fish act around these pilings. So, the longer the leader, the better. You know, all it takes is one, 
one little brush against these barnacles with this braid under tension and it's snapped. So the leader line has a much better, much better abrasion, much better abrasion resistance. So the longer the uh, mono leader, the better. All right, let's see what's going on by these two pilings right here. It's on its way down. Looks like it's on the bottom now. Let's see if anything picks it up. All right, get out of there. That's a really big one. Yeah, look at that fish. You gotta be fast too to get them away from these pilings. They're not like snook where they're headed for and to break you off, but they will break you off. That's a really nice fish right there. Let's get a quick in the net measurement here. About 20 inches. A little less than 20. Check out those teeth. Whoops. It's the last thing you want going into your arm or onto your lap. All right, we got lucky. We came out unscathed. Unscathed. That right, was a really nice fish. I'm telling you, these uh, mangrove tree crabs are your ticket to large sheep's head. I just checked out a few other docks back at this one. We just lost a nice one at one of the other ones over there. But there's not much activity going on, so. Let's see if it's still going off over here. There we go. Well, that's a good one. Might be a drum, a black drum. No, it's a, what is that? Black drum? Sheep's head? Yeah, it's a black drum. He's actually drumming right now. It's what they call drumming. I need the pliers. Another redfish. This guy's got two spots on one side, one spot on the other. Got him out of there. Looks like another drum. All right, black drum. All right, guys, the bite has died down quite a bit, so I decided to throw in the towel. Let those last few crabs go. So here we are. So as you can see, those crabs work extremely well for sheep's head, as well as other fish. They're highly overlooked. I'd suggest to not overlook them yourselves. But uh, anyway, it's that time, so I want to thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys the next time.